Hi, this is Tanya Lux. Today I would like to show you how to have some fun with your AI styles, starting with an illustration. So to begin with, I'm going to go ahead and launch my photo art layout. So come up to Window, Layout, Photo Art, and this will open up all of the panels that you're going to need for the job here. So right here, I've got AI styles. Now, if we take a look at the illustration, the illustration was created on a layer above the canvas. And when I'm working with AI styles, a lot of times I like to use selections to segment out different portions of the image. And I've already done this, but let me just show you. With the illustration on a layer, if I select the selection adjuster, hold down control and click, you are going to get a selection of the content that is on the layer. And I've got the marching ants there. And because I wanted to select both the hair and the full body, I decided to go use our selection tools. So I'm not gonna go through the whole process right now, but this is how I did everything. So I'm gonna to go to comic flatting and you'll see when I begin to paint in the center, I'm adding to the selection. So this is what I did in order to set up the selections that we're gonna work with today. So I'm gonna go ahead and right click on the layer and I'm gonna collapse that down to the canvas level. And if we come up to the select menu, we will load a selection in. So I've got here both full body and the hair. So let's begin with a hair selection. I'm gonna click OK. And now I'm going to right click and duplicate the canvas layer. And what we have is a selection of the hair and it includes the white background. The AI styles like to work in a larger area. So if I just had selected the outline, the style might not show up all that well. So I wanted the white in there as well. I'm going to select a style, let's see, let's try bold strokes. We'll let this apply to the image. And you can see in that palette, we have both presets and AI styles. And I'll explain the difference between these. Okay, so that's pretty funky. I'm gonna reduce the color match and maybe smooth the image even less. So we quickly went from a black and white to a colored illustration here in just a matter of seconds. Now the AI styles, these tell you exactly what the style is. If I wanted pastels or a lava lamp, charcoal, if we come to the presets, these are something that we have set up for you if you wanted to work on a portrait for instance this particular preset should work very well architecture animals so those are set up with all of the sliders set at the most optimal settings for those particular kinds of images so i'm going to reset this and we'll just try one more style for fun so the point i'm trying to get at here is you can apply multiple styles to the same image and they're all going to give very different effects and it's a lot of fun to play with them so you could apply this either right here we're working with an illustration you could also apply styles to brush strokes to photos so there's all kinds of options for you to play with and once you start making adjustments, so I made adjustments to the sliders within the AI style, and I can apply to the image. I can also go to underpainting here, and I can start making adjustments here as well. Now this is black and white, so it's probably not gonna do too much, <laughs> but let's go ahead. I'm gonna click on the canvas, and I'm going to load the hair selection once again. So let's go ahead and load that up. And maybe now we just want to fill that with a color. So if I go ahead and fill, we've got that pink color and I'm gonna switch my merge modes to something like hard light. And now we have a completely different look there. All right, so that's one way that I can work with this. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna close out of the illustration and just open it up again. I can press the 
space bar to get the grabber hand so that I can move my illustration around and then the magnifying glass if I want to zoom in a little bit. So let's see what happens if we decide to use the entire image and not just the hair. So let's collapse this and we're going to go to our selections once again and load the selection. So this time I'm going to choose full body and then we'll duplicate this and it's going to bring that selection up to the layer for me. So let's come back over to our styles and this time let's turn this pen and ink into soft pastels. We'll go ahead and run this and this is going to run on the entire image so the face and the hair as well and we'll have to see if we need to make some adjustments here to make this to our liking. I'm going to turn the color match down and I'm also going to probably not smooth the image so much. Now once I've adjusted these sliders I can always save a preset up here so if I wanted to add this I could give this a name you know my illustration preset and then it will always be available for me. So once you've found some settings that work for you, feel free to save the preset. I'm going to go to underpainting and actually let's first of all, I want to get rid of that little line on her face. These two lines here, I'm going to shrink down. I still have the comic flatting brush. Actually, we don't want a selection brush. So let's choose an opaque detail acrylic brush. I'm going to use the eyedropper to sample from within the image and I'm just going to brush out these couple lines that I don't want in there. All right, now we're good to go. Let's come over to underpainting and I'd like to saturate this just a little bit. And next what we're going to do is come back to the canvas here and I'm going to make sure that I have the selection loaded to the canvas as well. And let's go to our gradients and check some of these out. So we have all kinds of preset gradients. You can also create your own. Let's have some fun. I'm going to use a burst of color and we're going to dump the fill into the canvas layer. So let's just say, let's go ahead and fill this up with our gradient. And you can see I've got that gradient there now, but now we need to come to the layer and let's see maybe I'll set this to screen so now we've got that really cool gradient filled into our pastel style you know from here you could keep playing I could say let's go ahead and invert the selection and I could dump another color into the background if I wanted to so let's do this go ahead and drop a color into the background I could also come in and start doing some hand painting in the face so there's all kinds of ways to have fun with these styles and I encourage you to do so take some time experiment and see what kind of interesting paintings you can come up with